Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 5, uh, Complex Analysis of VSC Physics. Right, so here the topic of discussion is finding nth root of a complex number. Right, so now, uh, till now we have already discussed, uh, uh, you know, what is complex number, graphical representation, how to find the modulus of a complex number. How to find the argument of a complex number argument of a complex number then uh, we have proved Euler's formula de Moivre's theorem and now we, our topic of discussion is you know roots of complex number now you see <coughs> roots of a complex number uh, suppose we have a complex number so that is z is equal to Z is equal to which is in polar form Z is equal to R cos theta plus I sin theta. Suppose this is a complex number. We have we are to find the the nth root of Z Z to the power one by n. Okay, that is uh, we need to find this one. So now Z to the power Z is uh, is equal to R. We need to get cos theta plus I sin theta. Right. This is the complex form of the of a uh, you know complex number. Uh, polar form of a complex number and uh, the r is the mod, mod of z right modulus of z we know how, uh, we have already discussed about that uh, what is modulus of uh, a complex number right so now you see i hope that you know this astc rule now you see uh, from this point uh, if you you know if you imagine uh, that the red dot is a point representing complex number and uh, if you see this point starting point uh, is starting from this point uh, starting from this point you can see here starting from this point if you rotate it uh, through a, an angle 2 pi 2 pi then you're gonna get the same point right and plus angle theta it's gonna give you this this is supposed theta right then you are in first quadrant right so here let me apply ASTC rule okay so here according to this rule you know cos 2 pi plus theta 2 pi is even multiple of 90 so cos remains cos so in first quadrant it must be positive so plus cos theta similarly if you write 2 m pi cos theta sorry cos cos of 2 m pi plus theta where m belongs to suppose z it is a you know positive integer suppose then m is equal to uh, for m is equal to 0 1 2 2, uh, 2 3 so on and similarly sine 2 m pi is uh, plus theta 2 m pi plus theta is also sine theta right so i hope uh, you know these things uh, applications of those uh, you know rules used in trigonometry, uh, trigonometry right so now you see uh, here we can write that r so instead of cos theta we're going to write 2 m pi plus theta and instead of sine theta here we're going to write 2 pi m or 2 m pi theta pl uh, plus theta by uh, here whole to the 1 by n uh, just wait uh, here you see let me mention uh, m is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on right so we are to find the nth root of uh, z so z to the power 1 by n taking 1 by n on both side we're gonna get this result right so we get this now let me go to the next slide here you see this is the last step we have got right? this is the last step we have got and if you apply the the Mover's theorem here uh, you're gonna get this right I'll just wait so okay so by the Mover's theorem so what was that theorem we have discussed in the last class so link is in the description box you may go through so that according to that theorem you see cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power n is nothing but cos n theta plus i sin n theta right so now we are taking 1 by n so it's gonna be uh, 
theta by n and here it gonna be theta by n right similarly here instead of theta we have 2m pi plus theta divided by n applying this theorem so hope you understood these things so now uh, here you see let me clean these things just do it so what gonna be the next step here so for m is equal to 0 if you put m is equal to 0 then r to the sorry z to the by n gonna be this so if you put m is equal to 0 here then it's gonna be cos theta by n right i sin theta by n similarly if we put m is equal to 1 then we're gonna get this result so we have obtained this by putting m is equal to 1 by putting m is equal to 1 right so hope uh, you got it right so now you see similarly if we continue if we put n minus 1 m is equal to n minus 1 then our expression is supposed to be something like this right this is going to be the expression if you replace the m by this n minus 1 so this is going to be the result now what if if we put uh, m is equal to n then this should be the result right that's what we have got right so now let me go to the next slide before going to that so here let me explain one more thing just uh, before going to that so pause the video and note it down uh, just uh, let me adjust this one here you see uh, let me cut these things and uh, just wait because uh, here you see these two lines are already in the previous slide so let me cut it just wait and let me find some space here okay okay done so this is nothing but z to the power 1 by n now you see uh, this can be written as cos 2n pi by n plus theta by n right so here n n gonna be cancelled so cos 2 pi plus theta by n that's gonna be cos theta by n similarly here we're gonna get sine theta by n right so according to ASTC rule okay then this expression gonna be equal to r to the power 1 by n into cos theta by n plus i sine theta by n here you see from this steam here we have got the again uh, got the first step again here you see so similarly if you put m is equal to n plus uh, 1 then you're gonna get the second step again that means from m is equal to n the you know initial steps gonna be successively repeated okay so hope you have understood this uh, logic right so uh, when we have put m is equal to n we have got the first step right when we ha uh, we put uh, 0 right and similarly if you put n plus 1 then you're gonna get the result equal to uh, that result when we have uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, putting m is equal to n plus 1 we're gonna get the result which is obtained by putting m is equal to 1 okay so that means those results uh, for m is equal to 0 1 2 3 will be repeated from uh, m is equal to n m is equal to n plus 1 and so on right so hope you have understood this things okay now let me clean these things okay so here we can write that uh, uh, you see the values of the values of the values of z to the power 1 by n for m is equal to 
m is equal to n n plus 1 dot 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 etc are the mere repetition repetition of the first n values of the first n values because from 0 to n minus 1 there are n values and those values going to be again repeated right so hope you have understood this so that's why you see uh, we're going to find the uh, you know roots of a complex number up to up to this only m is equal to n minus 1 right so if we have if we need to find the uh, nth root of z then we're going to put uh, m is equal to m minus 1 right so that and is how we can find the uh, you know uh, 1 by nth root of a complex number uh, that is sorry nth root of a complex number that means uh, z to the power 1 by n okay z is complex number so let let us take an example let us take a question uh, for example so that you can understand better so here is a question find the values of 1 plus i whole to the power 1 by 5 so here you see uh, let us take the complex number as z 1 plus i whole to the power 1 by 5 first let us express this uh, you know just with uh, let us consider this one as z okay first let us uh, express this in polar form okay so now you see here what gonna be the r that means mod of z in this case it's gonna be 1 square plus 1 square right that's gonna be root 2 and uh, here if you compare with this a plus ib then a is 1 b is also 1 so that's why 10 alpha your 10 alpha gonna be equal to root of 1 by 1 uh, sorry mod of 1 by 1 that is 1 and 10 45 that means pi by 4 is 1 so that's why alpha must be pi by 4 and here you see this point 1 comma 1 is in first quadrant so here the argument will be alpha simply so argument of z is simply uh, you know theta is equal to alpha that is equal to pi by 4 so therefore in polar form in polar form we can write z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta which is going to be equal to r is root 2 cos here it is pi by 4 and plus i sin pi by 4 right as we have already considered uh, here you see let me go back to the previous slide here you can see uh, we can take this as uh, in order to find the nth root 1 by n we're gonna put m is equal to n minus 1 what we have considered we have considered this right let me copy this one first Just let me copy this one here okay so here so for nth root we used to put m is equal to 0 1 2 dot 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 n minus 1 up to n minus 1 so here n is equal to here n is equal to 5 right here n is equal to Five. we need z to the power 1 by 5 okay then we're gonna get r uh, r is root 2 which is gonna be uh, power on which is gonna be again 1 by root 5 and if we put here cos 2m by by n plus theta by n n is equal to nothing but 5 right n is equal to nothing but 5 
so here n is equal to 5 right so we can take 1 by 5 common we can write that this way just wait uh, give me a second so we can we can write this way instead of m we can uh, we can put 5 right instead of n so here it's going to be twice m plus theta theta is here here theta is equal to pi by 4 so we're going to put pi by 4 here yeah. plus i sine again 1 by 5 putting n is equal to 5 so we have got 1 by 5 twice m pi instead of theta we're going to put pi by 4 right so that is what we have got this is our result so we can write uh, z is equal to 1 plus i right and z to the power 1 by 5 will be 1 plus i whole to the power 1 by 5 so this can be written as so root 2 means 2 to the power half so it's going to be 2 to the power 10 right uh, 2 to the power 1 by 10 2 to the power 1 by 10 then we have cos 1 by 5 2m plus pi by 4 plus i sine 1 by 5 2m plus uh, 2m pi plus pi by 4 that is what we have got here right so this is our result and we need to mention one thing that so let me write this one here uh, we need to mention here that m is equal to m is equal to 0 1 2 so here we have 5 so we must go to 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4 so that means we can put up to 3 and 4 if we put the uh, put beyond 4 that means 5 6 uh, so on then again the terms will be uh, uh, results will be repeated so this is our answer so hope you have understood this so hope you have understood this thank you for watching and see you in the next video